to do it. So you want to go onto your internet browser you use and search for Curse Launcher. It uh, doesn't matter if you spell it wrong as per demonstration and um, click on the link that is curseforge.com um make sure you don't click on any other link because uh, it might not be the official one this is the one you want um click on there and you can either download overwolf or download standalone overwolf is a launcher that lets you play other games through a launcher um you can just do standalone it's it's absolutely fine once you clicked on that and let it download i'll greet you in a second now, once you've downloaded and ran the CurseForge EXE file, you'll be greeted by this screen. Now, from this screen, it will, uh, it could potentially auto find the, the games you've got in your system. But if it doesn't, all you've got to do is click on the add button here, scan computer for games, and it should find automatically. You click on the file where uh, all the, the drive where they're stored. I've got three jars on my computer, but most people probably just have that one or maybe like a data one or whatever. Um, and it should find it. If not, again, you can add it manually. Then you want to find the Minecraft.exe file. Folder. Once you've got Minecraft found, you'll be you'll click on it and it will show uh, nothing because you won't have any mod packs installed. It also installs all the mods in into the sky. You just want to click on browse, um, click on here and search for Minecraft projects. All the mods nine to the sky. Now, because not very many people have downloaded it yet, it's not very high in the search results. By the time you're watching this, it will probably be pretty high, uh, but you'll be able to find it. Now, it doesn't always show, um, and if it doesn't show, you can simply go back onto your browser, go all the mods 9 to the sky. It will come up on here, and you can click Install with Curse Launcher. It will say, do you want to open your Curse Launcher? Click on Open Curse Forge and it will find the mod pack. Um, by the time you found it, it will be much more popular. So when you search in there, it will come up. But uh, if not, you can do what I've just showed you. Then you want to click on here. Instead of saying play, it will say download. Download that mod pack. And uh, once you've downloaded it, you'll be able to find it on the screen here. So uh, I have loads of different mod packs, uh, so it doesn't always show up, but uh, it's right. Uh, it's, what I mean, it doesn't always show up. It's not easy to see, but it is right here. Um, and then you want to look on here and it will have a load of information. Blah, blah, blah. Is there really all the mods? No, there's not. Of course there's not. Um, and what I would always do is go on to here. Now you can either change your default um, sort of Minecraft uh, RAM amount by going in setting, clicking at game specific on Minecraft, scrolling down a little bit and seeing the Java settings. I've got it set for four gig, but I would uh, recommend if you can allocating a little bit more RAM to So you want to go into your uh, download folder, click on here and click on profile options and then click on that. Use system memory settings, tick it off and then you can change the, the amount of RAM yourself. I'm going to put it to like eight gig, which will be enough for this mod pack, hopefully. Um, and that's fine, and that's how you do it. I would always try and allocate a little bit more. Apologies for that, people. Should have put my phone on to not but hey ho. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you'll have the right amount of RAM allocated to it, and then you can simply click on play. It will load up, and uh, I'll greet you in a second and show you what we do from here. Okay, once it's launched, it'll come up with the actual uh, mod pack. You can see here that it's loading up all the mods nice to the sky. If it doesn't, which sometimes does happen, just click the drop down and it'll be there and, and you can make sure. Then you want to click play. It will come up with this. You're about to play Minecraft Java Edition installation. It's been modified. We can't guarantee the game will support the latest player safety features. To access features, play more uh, recent version of Minecraft Java Edition with mods. Blah, 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 blah. We don't care about that. Um, so you can either click play straight there, straight away there. It will show this every time, or you can just click I understand the risks. Don't warn me again and click play. I'm not going to click play now because I don't want to load it up, but that's simply how you do it. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If it has been helpful, do make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next video. I have lots of other videos on my channel or tutorials of Minecraft, how to load mod packs, all that kind of jazz. So check them all out. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye bye.